The death toll is still rising after a powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake near the border of Turkey and Syria. The quake, one of the strongest to hit the region since 1939. It hit just after four in the morning while people were sleeping. And now rescue workers have been working nonstop searching for survivors in the massive piles of debris. The video coming out of those countries is just unbelievable. And just hours after the initial quake, TV crews captured this building collapsing from a 7.5 aftershock 80 miles from the epicenter. The devastation is enormous. Officials report at least 5,600 buildings collapsed more than 4,300 people have been killed across Turkey and Syria and 15,000 injured. Those numbers expected to increase as search for survivors continues. And Governor Paul is saying today, quote, Coloradans hearts are with the people of Turkey and Syria as they deal with the devastating aftermath of the earthquakes. Our prayers and thoughts are with the families and loved ones of everyone lost. The Biden administration is deploying two 79 person urban search and rescue teams to Turkey. USAID and the Pentagon are coordinating additional assistance. Now here in Colorado, the local Turkish community is rallying to collect donations to help those now left homeless. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon met with one man who was desperate. Colette to find out if his family had survived. He has friends and family living in Turkey and today it's just been a whirlwind. He can't stop watching the news. His phone is being bombarded with calls and messages and his main goal is raising awareness to spur support from the Colorado community. The process is precise for Erol Elmas. We preserve the arts forever. Who's been framing pictures for 27 years. Picasso, Matisse, Rembrandt. But today is different. This is the first job I'm doing today. It's just, it was very hard. Originally from Turkey. Me walking through the old streets. He was just there less than a month ago. And is this the city where the earthquake happened? Yes, this is the city where the earthquake happened, yeah. Where you are under rumble and no one can hear you, no one can reach at you. People are scared. Everybody's on the street. That's what makes me sad and that's what makes me cry. You know? Saying it was nearly impossible to reach his family. What was it like to finally hear your mom's voice on the other end of that phone? Oh, you, you cannot imagine that. Uh, I mean, you know, it is very comforting, but it's the, you're not feeling the joy totally. There are millions of people trying to reach their loved ones and they cannot. Thinking about the stories he's heard from friends. Wife and the uh, daughter is still under the building and he says that he's got about 30 people under the rubble right now. Angry for the people in the place he loves. We all come to this world to live happily day by day and middle of the night that you are waking up under the rubbles. It's unfair. Elmas is a member of the Turkish American Cultural Society of Colorado, which has a list of drop-off donation sites. They need items like warm clothing, blankets, flashlights, hygiene products, and baby formula. Starting tomorrow, some of those sites include his shop, CC Framer, in Denver. Aurora residents can drop off donations at Happy Ladybug Early Learning. And Boulder has a site off of Canyon Boulevard. Those donations will be driven from Colorado all the way to LA, dropped off at the Turkish Embassy, and flown to Turkey. Items can be dropped off through Thursday, and we have a full list of those drop-off sites on denver7.com. Live in the newsroom, Colette Bordel on Denver 7. Yeah, just heartbreaking to see those images. Thank you, Colette. And on the ground, search and rescue operations, they're dealing with extremely challenging conditions. This video shows rescuers in Syria removing a child from the rubble and getting him to medical attention. And there's also a risk of even more aftershocks, which could make it even more difficult to find survivors. Turkish officials say more than 130 aftershocks were reported across the region, the largest of them measuring a powerful 7.5 magnitude. That occurred nearly nine hours after the main quake. Today we spoke with a geophysicist at the U.S. Geological Survey in Golden, and he says today's aftershocks are not common, but are not necessarily rare either. All earthquakes are followed by aftershocks, so earthquakes that are smaller. Typically, your largest aftershock is smaller than that one would have been. It's a fairly rare occurrence to see it quite that big compared to the main shock, but it, it happens. Barnhart says the Anatolian plate where the earthquake occurred has caused many large earthquakes. So that includes the 1999 quake outside of Istanbul, which killed more than 15,000 people.